guys, welcome back. Okay, so today I decided to go ahead and go through all of my highlighters, which is quite a bit. So it's probably going to be a long video, just warning you ahead of time because I do plan on swatching. Um, because I know when I watch these type of videos, collection videos and stuff, I watch it typically for two reasons. Well, three. For one, I'm nosy and I like to see what people have in their collection <laughs> to see if I have some of the same things that they have. For two, I watch them to shop. Just being 100% honest, putting it out there, I do watch them to shop. Like, I like to see stuff I don't have, you know, get excited like, ooh, that looks pretty. I might want that. So yeah, I do watch them to shop. And then I also watch collection videos just to kind of remind me of what I might or might not have in my collection, things that I've forgotten about, things that might be deep down in a drawer and I just keep not using it and it's really, really a hidden gem. So those are really the three main reasons why I like to watch collection videos. So that's why I'm probably going to do some swatching in here. Of these highlighters for those of you who do like to watch them to shop and just kind of you know see how certain highlighters look but anyway with all that being said let me go ahead and jump right in i don't want to do a long intro i'm just going to grab them open them tell you what they are swatch them and keep them pushing it's not really so much a declutter video today either because that's not my intention if i come across something that i want to get rid of then i will declutter it but Let's go ahead and jump right in. I did pull this tray out of one of my white drawers um, just so it's easier for me to deal with. And then I do have one of my other white drawers here that is full of um, singles as well. And then I have another one that has highlighter palettes in it. So yeah, it's quite a bit. So let's jump right in. So this first one here up front absolutely gorgeous packaging from Becca. I'm pretty sure all of my Becca highlighters I did get in subscription boxes because I don't buy Becca highlighters or I didn't buy Becca highlighters, I should say. So this one is called Own Your Light. And like I said, packaging is gorgeous. I'm going to try my hardest not to blind you guys. I know it can be difficult with the light shining and everything, but this is what it looks like. And you can see it has like a bit of a like rosy hue in there oh it's pretty but a lot of these highlighters like from becca and stuff really are not my favorite tone you know for my skin tone but for someone else it's really really gorgeous it has like a rosy tone to it i don't know if you can see that but yeah it's really pretty so that's that one this is another one from becca this one is uh what is this called endless bronze and glow so this is one that has like the um you know the trio in it so it's like the three in one type situation and it's not necessarily i don't think for my skin tone but that center uh glow is beautiful so let me just go ahead and i'll swatch like all three sections even though like the bronzer i know is not really deep enough for me you know but I'll go ahead and swatch all three sections for you guys so that's the bronzer <laughs> as you can see that is the center and then this is the lighter one so very very pretty this center one even though it looks kind of light it's really really gorgeous when blended out absolutely beautiful so yeah that is that this other one here is, I believe it's Prosecco Pop. Yeah, Prosecco Pop. And so that's what Prosecco Pop looks like. If you guys are familiar or if you recall, very pretty. Go ahead and swatch that one. Very, very pretty highlight. This next one here from Nabla. Try to wipe off my fingers a bit. This one, oh, I love the way this looks in the packaging. It's so pretty. This is called Lucent Jungle. It's one of their skin glazing. It says Glass Skin Finish Glow Powder. So that's what that one looks like. 
really gorgeous. And ooh, that's one of my favorites. Really, really pretty highlighter. Absolutely gorgeous. And this one here is from Huda Beauty. Nymph <laughs> has that frosted packaging. I like her packaging as well. This one is in the shade Juno. So let me go ahead and swatch this. And this is like, you know, that creamy, creamy bronze type highlighter. Um, very, very thick consistency. So this is one where I like to use it when I'm doing like a natural um, kind of dewy type face because I like to take this and just apply a little bit with my beauty blender just to give my skin that nice, beautiful, healthy glow. Really, really pretty. Next, I have a couple of collab highlighters with Pure and Barbie. Bought them for the packaging, but they're still really pretty. This one is called Confident Glow. Look how pretty that is. It has the, you know, little Barbie in there. So, so gorgeous. And let's see, this one is, I hate to mess it up, but I already did anyway. This one, I think it's two different shades. There's a lot of texture in here, which I'm not really a big a fan of. You know, when you swatch it, it's texture. But those are the two shades in there. Super duper light. I wouldn't wear that. This one I could wear. Definitely could wear that with like, a, you know, if I wanted more of a glowy blush look. But... Yeah, I don't really reach for those. Not my favorite. This is another Pure and Barbie. Look at that. Looks like rock candy. It's uh, If you could see the texture on there, it's really pretty. Um, this one is called Dream Glow. And that's what this one looks like. This one has the, um, sorry, let me try to, there we go. Let's see. How's that? <laughs> still it's like this packaging but that's what this one looks like so it has the three different shades in there so pretty oh my gosh it's gorgeous this one I would more be inclined to use at least these two shades down here maybe not so much that one but see if I can get these three on here like that one is gorgeous that one is pretty and then that's the lighter one. So you can see there, I would definitely use that. That one is gorgeous. This one's a bit light, but I could use it, you know, as a blush topper. And this one, I would probably use like um, on my brow bone or something. Let me see if I can get a better angle for that. There we go. I would probably use that one like on my brow bone. This one more so is like a blush topper and this one definitely is a pretty highlighter so yeah it's really pretty really really gorgeous but I just never reach for it next I have here look at this packaging oh. Oh. <laughs> this is from Smashbox this is the Vlada Smashbox and Vlada Petal Metal Highlighter definitely bought this for the packaging um and just the gorgeousness inside. Look how pretty that is. Oh, she's pretty. Let me go ahead and swatch her. I remember for the longest time, I was like, I am not swatching that. But I swatched it a long time ago. So that's what this one looks like. Pretty bright on my skin tone, but it's still a gorgeous glow. Really, really pretty. A more fair skin tone, I would say. Next, I have here this Zoeva. I'm pretty sure I got this probably from Boxy or maybe I bought it from Boxy. It's Visionary Light. Let's take a look. Oh, oh my gosh. You know what? Did I buy this? I might have just bought this. Look how pretty that is. I don't know, y'all. I don't remember. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. I'm going to put it over here. Hopefully, you'll be able to see it over my tattoo. Oh. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Oh, it's a little more glittery than what I would choose, you know, on an everyday basis. 
Oh my gosh, but that's so beautiful. Oh, she's gorgeous. Okay, next we have here a dose of colors. This is the Desi and Katie chasing the sun. Look at pretty packaging. So pretty. And then this is what this highlighter looks like. Really pretty as well. I don't know if this is as deep as I would like, you know, for a highlighter for myself. Yeah, I could definitely use that. It's that one there. Yeah, I could definitely get get down with that. Really pretty. Next, I have here this Too Faced. This is Pineapple Sun. This is actually a duo, I think. Uh, Pineapple Paradise Strobing Bronzer. So really cute packaging. Adorable. And then, yeah, it has the two different two different shades in there if you could see that of course this is child this is not for me not for me um let me just swatch but yeah this is this is not made for me <laughs> okay so it's really pretty i could do probably the bronzer part like i would use that more so as a highlight I'm trying to get it where you guys can see it. And this, I mean, it's pretty. It's really pretty. I could work it out, but it's a little bit too light for me, for your girl. But this one here, the bronzer side, is really pretty. Okay, moving on. Revlon Skin Lights. Ooh. Of course, I just grabbed my attention because of the uh, actual design. I love textured designs. They're so pretty. But as far as the actual, oh, look at that. Ooh, she pretty. Yeah, I see why I kept her. That is gorgeous. Ooh, 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 ooh. So what is this Gilded Dawn? Number 203, Gilded Dawn. And I've had a lot of these highlights for so long, you guys. I'm sorry if they don't makeup anymore they're not available anymore but you know i don't know because some i've had for a while so this is revolution pro pretty packaging here this is luster highlighter in rose gold Let's see what she oh yeah i know exactly why i bought this <laughs> it looks really really textured though so yeah it's gorgeous but it does have quite a bit of texture. Let's put her right here. Oh. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. Yeah. You can see that rosy tone in there. Really, really pretty, though. Just gorgeous. So, but yeah, that's what that one looks like. Okay, we're on row number two here. Pat McGrath. This thing is heavy. You could literally knock somebody out with this, you guys. Like, seriously. So this is Champagne Gold. Another one that I never reach for. I don't know. I feel like it's a little icy. It's gorgeous. But yeah, I think it, it might be a little icy for my liking. Let me see. Okay, I'm over here now. Yeah, it's really smooth, though. Very, very smooth, but yeah, it's a little too icy for me. I'm, I'm, mm -mm. I really, it's, it's, you know, as far as like the types of highlighters that I just fall in love with, of course, there are the more bronzy type highlighters, but you know, like I said, my collection is full of highlighters that I have because I love the packaging or I just want something from the brand. So this is another Pat McGrath Labs. This one is Skin Fetish Sublime Skin Highlighter, Lunar Nude. Gorgeous, gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. So let's get a swatch on. I'm about to clean off my arm in a minute. So this is Lunar Nude from Pat McGrath. Very icy as well, but it's pretty though. It really is. I could see myself using that in some cases. It has like that little bit of rosiness in there. I don't know if you can see it, um, but 
Yeah, it's actually really pretty. Yeah, really pretty. Light-handed, I could, I definitely could use that. So, okay, this here, really pretty, is Bronze Goddess. Who is this? Is this Estee Lauder? Yeah, Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. Heat Wave. Okay. Gorgeous. Now, this is absolutely beautiful, but it does have more glitter in it, I think, than I really would prefer. Okay, so it is absolutely beautiful, but uh, see, it doesn't look that glittery right there. Sometimes to me, it looks like super glittery, but yeah, you can see very, very pretty. That's what she looks like, so. Estee Lauder. I don't know if they sell this anymore. It could have been limited edition or something. This is a Revolution Pro. This is Skin Finish Golden Glare. Is this? Yes, yeah, it's highlighter. Sometimes I have highlighters that, you know, are actually bronzers, but this one actually says highlighter from Revolution Pro. Sorry about the glare, but I just want y'all to see that beautifulness. Okay. So this open and this one actually broke when I opened it up well it had fallen out you know came out of the casing from when I moved but honey I had to glue that baby back in because look how pretty oh look how pretty she is so that's her right there that's like the perfect highlighter for me Perfect shade of highlight. That is glorious right there. Revolution Pro. Golden Glare Skin Finish. Beauty. This one here, Artist Couture. I pull this one a lot. Honey Drip Diamond Lux Luminizer. I pull this one a lot. This one is hard for me to resist. Whenever I'm doing my shop mustache, I'd be like, girl, if you don't stop pulling that artist... Katoa, okay. I just, I don't know. It's just some that I just really, really love. And it's hard for me not to pull them. So that's her right there on top. You see how that's just like the perfect highlight? That one is gorgeous, that Revolution. But this one is really, really pretty as well. Just gorgeous. So yeah, I pull that one a lot. Let me clean off my hand right quick. Okay, you guys, fresh meat, fresh meat. <laughs> Next, I have this LYS. Cute little package in here. This one is called Aim High. Hmm. Pressed highlighter powder, fearless warm bronze. So I guess the shade is fearless warm bronze. And this is what it looks like. Beautiful. I don't even, it doesn't even look like I had swatched this one yet. Oh my gosh. Ooh. So first time. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. I got to pull this for my shot. My stash, you guys, do not let me skip this on my next shot. My stash. Oh my gosh. I need to put that in the front. Somebody getting bumped. Pat, you getting bumped. <laughs> I need to remember to use that. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Okay. So this is the Maybelline Master Chrome. Uh, let's see. 100 Molten Gold. Okay. Really pretty. I used to use this a lot, a lot back in the day. Very, very pretty. Until I kind of found, I think, some that might have been like a little bit warmer a little bit more catered to my skin tone. But yeah, I used to use that one a lot. It's gorgeous, blinding, really beautiful. Really, really beautiful. And you blend it out, gives you a really nice, gorgeous highlight. So yeah, I used to use that a lot. Next, I have here this Milani Duo. This one is 140 Double Shot. Yeah. So it's cream to powder. I don't know. I guess they both just feel like nice, smooth, gorgeous creams to me. And they're really, really pretty. I think one of these I like more than the other, but I don't remember which one. So let me just swatch both of them. But yeah, they both are really, really smooth. 
as you can see, very similar. Um, this one looks a little bit more bronzy, but they're absolutely gorgeous. Really, really pretty. And this nice creamy duo here from Milani. Next here, I have here Fenty Beauty. This is the Candy Cognac Diamond Bomb. This is an all-over diamond veil. Now, when I bought this, I was buying it because I wanted to use it as a highlighter. But it doesn't work out that well as a highlighter for me. It's too sheer. It's really, really pretty. <laughs> as you can see, Lord have mercy. Ooh. <laughs> But it's definitely for like all over body. I don't know if you can even see that. Definitely for all over body. It looks gorgeous, but it's very sheer. So, and it has a lot of glitterly, <laughs> glitterly, glitteriness to it. So I definitely see this as something for the body more so than just as a highlighter because it's very glittery. Oh, she pretty though. Lord have mercy. I won't be getting rid of her. Now, this one I actually might declutter. This is from Revolution. Really gorgeous. You can see that rose gold in there. But you can see, obviously, it's way too light for me. This is the rose quartz highlighter. So for someone, you know, with more fair skin, absolutely gorgeous. I will go ahead and swatch it for your girls. You know, it's really, really pretty, but, and it's not like super duper shiny either. If you like just like a nice soft, um, highlight, then that might work for some of you guys. But this I'm actually going to put in my declutter box over here because she can go. Um, uh, this is from Revolution as well. Really pretty. This is called... Highlighter Reloaded in Time to Shine. So this is Time to Shine. Gorgeous. It has like that bronze type look to it, you know. <sighs> Let's see how she looks because I haven't used her in a while. Oh, she's pretty. She actually kind of has like, looks like a little peachiness to it. Oh, that is really nice for just like a subtle everyday situation. Yeah, that's pretty, really pretty. Okay. Next, let's see what's back here. Oh, I can tell this one is too light. <laughs> this is from Catrice. It says, more than glow highlighter. 030 beyond golden glow. Really, really pretty embossing in there. I'm sure I probably picked this up because I wanted to try, you know, highlighter from Catrice, but... Yeah, definitely way too light for me. Too icy. Oh, that's pretty. I could see that as an inner corner pop. Oh, my goodness. On a beautiful eye look. Now, that's an inner corner pop right there. Okay. I'm going to put this in my drawer that sits on my <laughs> vanity and see if I can remember to use this in my inner corner. If not, I'll go ahead and declutter it. But for now... I'm going to try to repurpose that because that is gorgeous. Inner corner pop. Hello. This is from Nika K. Perfection highlighter. Okay. Sandstone. The color is sandstone. And that's what that looks like. Oh, she's pretty as well. So as you can see in my collection, I do have brands of all price range. You know, I'm I'm not a one who discriminates when it comes to highlighters or any makeup for that matter. I have stuff um, for everyone. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. Okay, Nika K. Yeah. I want to put this in the front too. Uh, who going to get bumped? Who going to get bumped? I don't know, but I want to put that in the front because I want to remember too pull that from my shot mustache as well okay so a couple of square ones this is the tribe highlighter volume two from juvia's yeah so very cute oh, look at the packaging very pretty but this is what this one looks like oh she's pretty Ooh, a swatcher let's give her a swatchy swatch okay 
Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. It's like a lighter highlighter, but it's not like super, super duper icy. You know, it's not like it's too, too icy for me. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. All right. And then this one is from Give Me Glow. It's called Sunset Glow. And this one, yeah, that's it. Let me just open this up. You guys can see that pretty packaging. Ooh, dang, I forgot about that. Tell me that don't look like a sunset. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all, I'm talking a lot. Tell me that does not look like a sunset, child. Ooh, dang. Oh, and this one is, has a little bit more of a thicker consistency, but it has that, oh my gosh, it has that beautiful peachy goldness to it. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, let me see. Can you see it? There it is. Do you see that beautiful peachy goldness? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Oh, I need to put this one in the front too. Okay, so I'm going to maneuver some stuff. Okay, so we have made it back up to the last row. So this is from MAC. This is called Flare for the Dramatic. Extra Dimension Skin Finish. <laughs> Flare for the Dramatic. Yeah, beautiful holiday packaging. Oh, look at this. Yeah, she dramatic, honey. Gorgeous. Ooh, that's so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna put her over my tattoo. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. Yeah, she's pretty. Okay. Now, this one here, I have not swatched yet. And y'all, this is the new Black Panther highlighter from um, MAC. I don't know if I'm gonna swatch this, y'all. What is it called? Royal Challenge? I don't know if I'm gonna swatch this because it's brand new and I don't even know if I'm gonna use it, but... This is what it looks like. And let me pop her open. Oh, look at this. Dang, that is gorgeous. Am I going to use this? I don't know, y'all. I'm sorry. Y'all going to have to find some swatches somewhere else because I'm not swatching it. <laughs> Okay, next we have Fenty Beauty. This is Trophy Wife, the infamous Trophy Wife. Okay, y'all know what she looks like, like gold glitter, something straight out of the 70s, a disco ball for your face, okay? So I'm gonna swatch it right here. It's it's beautiful, but when I say, child, when, when would I ever wear that? Like... On what occasion? On oh, what occasion? Uh-uh. It's beautiful though, honey. So you know I'm not getting rid of it. That's like a cult classic or something, honey. Okay, Fenty Beauty. This is one of the duos. Kilowatt, Ginger Binge, and Moscow, Moscow Mule. Super gorgeous. Super, super beautiful. Yes. I love this duo and I need to actually, um, is this highlighter or blush? Yeah, it says, yeah, freestyle highlighter duo. Cause you know how some blushes look like highlighters and some highlighters look like blushes. So where am I going to swatch this at y'all? Let me swatch it right here right quick. Okay. So this is these two. These are really pretty too. You see those? Really, really pretty. I feel like I need to pull these. But these be kind of giving me like spring and summer vibe, you know? They do. They be giving me like spring and summer vibe. But I'm going to put this in the front as well. Let me put these over here. Just so that I can kind of, you know, put those to the forefront of my shop, my stashes. Okay. So this is from Melt. This one is Queen B and B Blush. So this is supposed to be blush, but on me, one thing about me, 
these are actually, you know, highlighters. These are not blushes on me. I'm sorry. So let me swatch these two right quick for you. And let me swatch them right here. Which way? I'll swatch it like this. Ooh, those are pretty. Yep, those are pretty. Both of them. I need to use both of them. So yeah, I kind of, this is why I wanted to go through my highlighters because I tend to gravitate to the same thing all the time, even when I shop my stash, because it can be daunting, you know, to try and go through all of your stuff. So I want to kind of maneuver and put some of the stuff that I want to use in the front just so that, you know, it's like less, see if I can get some of that glare out of there, just so that I can get more use out of the ones I know I really, really like. So this is from JD Glow. It's called Chaos. This is a pressed highlighter. And I know with these, these are kind of like those like iridescent kind of like shades that I don't typically gravitate to, but I thought they were so pretty and that's why I bought them. It's a little bit textured, um, but yeah, it's like as far as highlight goes, it's really not shades that I would gravitate towards. This one has kind of like, looks like a pinky hue to it. Sorry, I'm all out of frame. Kind of like a pinky hue to it. So it's really pretty, but mm, I really wouldn't use that. <clears throat> and then I have here another one from JD, Clo JD Glow. This is Cloud Nine. And this one I really, really most likely won't use. <laughs> At least not on my cheeks. Um, you know, it's one where if you want to repurpose it or you, you know, you can repurpose these for like your eyes and stuff because it's absolutely gorgeous, beautiful, like iridescent blue. You, oh my goodness. I could definitely see that like in the center of my lid with a blue eye look what <laughs> look at that ciao so i actually think i'm going to put this somewhere else so that i can probably remember to use it um on my eyes as opposed to on my face so i'm going to put that over here with that other one next i have here um what is this rk by kiss all over glow this is a bronzing powder this probably really needs to go in the trash because <laughs> I've had this forever. I used to use this way back in the day, you know, before I really got into highlighter even. So it's not even like, you know. Oh, but look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. And it's so smooth. Child, this ain't going nowhere. Unless I put this on my face and it makes me break out or in hives or something. Yeah, that's, I'm going to put that over here so I can remember to use it. <laughs> Golden Soleil. This is from J-Cat. This is a baked bronzer in the shade Cancun Golden Tan. Okay, let's see here. That's what she looks like. So yeah, definitely a baked bronzer. But I'm sure I have it, you know, for other reasons. So let me just put that right. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, child. Oh, my goodness. See, that that's the type of highlighter I like on my face. That it is. I'm trying to get this to where there's no glare. There we go. That's the type of highlighter that I like on my face on a daily basis. Beautiful. So these two are from Wet n Wild. This is way too light. No, <laughs> it's called Blossom Glow. So yeah, this is probably going to get decluttered. Like, what am I going to do with this? Except for use it like as an inner corner pop or something. It is just, is way too light. I could look at it and tell. Look at that. Yeah, it's perfect for inner corner pop, honey, but is a highlighter on my face? No. So we're going to put that to the side. And this one is Crown of My Glory. Now, how did I get highlighter all the way up here, y'all? Will somebody please tell me how I did that? Anyway. 
So yeah, this is Crown of My Canopy. And this is what Crown of My Canopy looks like. Look like she's been in a fight. This packaging, ugh. But she's really pretty. I think this is one that I can still um, flow with. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's really pretty. Look how smooth that is. That's gorgeous. This one here, really pretty. So keeping that. This is <clears throat> from Physician's Formula. I hate when CVS does that. They put the whole big old tag right on front of the packaging, like, and you can't even get it off. Like, who does that? But anyways, this is Physician's Formula Warm Nude. I don't know if this is like a bronzing powder. I think it is. I don't think this is necessarily like a highlighter, but, you know, of course, when I saw it, that's what I bought it for, so... Let me just kind of swoop because you can mix it all together or you can just use the darker, the pink, the lighter. So I'm just going to stay down on these two rows down here just so I can get you guys a swatch. And I'm going to put it right here. Yeah, super duper subtle. Very, very subtle. I actually feel like I'm going to declutter that because it's, it's really pretty. Mm, I'm not going to declutter that. I could definitely use it as an everyday. You know, let me put it over here. Try it out with my shop, my stash. If I don't like it, then I'm going to go ahead and declutter it. Now this, this is from JCat. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Beautiful. It's called You Glow Girl. And this is a baked highlighter, Pink Goddess. So yeah, honey, gorgeous, but... I feel like it's going to be like super duper glittery because it looks like super duper glittery in person <sighs> and on my finger. <laughs> so let me just put it right here. Mm, okay, so that's what it looks like swatched. Let me blend it out a little. It's pretty. Very icy though. Lighter than I like. Ugh. That is, that's too icy for me. Too icy for me, but she's gorgeous. I'm keeping her because I like the way she looks. And then lastly, I have this Iman. This is Sheer Finish Bronzing Powder in the shade Afterglow. So yeah, this is one of the ones that has like the three-in-one type situation. Um... I might actually move this to my blush, but let me see. I'm going to swatch it. Shoot, it might get decluttered depending on, depending on how these swatches look. Okay, because child, this is just, this is one of those weird ones. For some reason, I love grabbing the three-in-one um, compacts, but it's like I never use them. I never pull them. You know, they're just weird. So those are the three shades that's in there. So as you can see, the bronzing one is pretty for a highlight, but it really doesn't have enough glow for me, to be honest with you. Um, dang it. The blush is really pretty. But it's like, you know, trying to use these separately in such small pans can really become a hassle. So I'm going to declutter this. Yeah. Okay. So... I'm going to go ahead and put these, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven highlighters uh, closer to the front so that I can be more prone to choose them for my shop, my stash, and then we'll move on to this next drawer. Okay, you guys, so I am back. I pulled my other highlighters out of my drawer so that they would be easier to access. So let's just keep going. So this one here is the Tasty Apple from I Heart Revolution. This is definitely one of my favorites that I have not <laughs> grabbed in a long time. This is what she looks like when I first got her. Oh my gosh. I couldn't put her down. You could not get me to stop using it because she's just beautiful. Look at that. Ah. Oh gorgeous so yeah of course she's not going anywhere 
Next, I have a few of these Too Faced. This one is Fancy Pink Diamond. And I don't know, you know, if these are, um, what do you call them? Limited edition or just holiday releases. I don't know, but I just thought they were pretty, so I buy them. I don't use them because these are clearly not for me, <laughs> but they're really pretty. So that's the pink diamond. Really pretty. What is it called? Fancy pink diamond. This one here is Canary Diamond. I heard a lot of people like raving about this and I'm like, mm. I mean, it's pretty. It's really pretty. I don't know if you guys will get a good look at that, but it's really pretty. Let me see. Because I know I swatched it before, but I just don't remember being wild about it. Uh, yeah, it's a little more subtle, for sure. A little more glitterly. <laughs> glitter. Why do I keep saying glitterly, you guys? A little more glittery. And it has like a pink hue to it as well. I see, it looks like I see a little bit of green in there or something. I don't know, but yeah, very, very subtle. Very pretty. This one here is my favorite. This is the Chocolate Diamond. Okay, really cute, but as you can see, this is more my speed. Definitely one that I will actually use and wear. Very pretty, you see that? Very, very pretty. Add a little bit more. Yeah, gorgeous. So this is one that I need to remember to actually pull from my Shop My Stash. Let me take these out so we can look at these. Okay, so these are both from uh, XX Revolution. This one is called Focus. Just pretty plain pink packaging. It has the XX on the front. But this one is a lighter of the two, I believe, because I know I have one of these that I actually use, but this one is very light. Oh, very light, but gorgeous. I can't say it's not gorgeous. It's just too light for me. See how pretty that is? Just too light. This one here is Frequency. And I think this one must be the one that I actually use. Yeah. So this is Frequency. <sighs> Lord have mercy. Okay, so that's frequency right there. Hello. Ciao. Look at that. Yeah, this is one I need to remember to use too. So I'm going to put these two together. And then this last one here, this is from Physicians Formula, Rosé All Day Petal Glow. Mm, I've went back and forth with decluttering this several times. This is called Freshly Picked. <laughs> it's just it's so gorgeous and I really don't have a lot of items from Physicians Formula and I could see why I don't feel like they they make makeup for me clearly <laughs> so I don't know why I'm trying to force it right but that's what that one looks like they're very light very soft so if that's something that you like you know you might be interested in that but I'm going to declutter this. It's gorgeous, but I, it's it has no business in my collection. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to these here. Now, this is one that I love, love, love. This is from Shop Miss A, AOA. It's all rubbing off, you know, where we get those two, three dollar sponges from. And this is actually a blush called 097 Sin. So this is actually supposed to be a blush, but I use it for a highlight. It's really, really pretty. I don't know if you guys can see that slight glow in there, but I love it. I love using it as a highlight. It just looks really, really pretty on my, you know, cheeks. Has a little hint of color. 
really, really pretty if you like that subtle type of a vibe, which I do. I do. So there's that. I have this <laughs> Coffee to Glow from Essence. I bought these a while ago and I used them a couple of times. They're not the most user-friendly mint to bean together. <laughs> That's the name of the shade, I guess, is mint to bean together. But it's a bunch of little loose coffee beans in there with shimmer and glow on them. Absolutely gorgeous. But as you can see, it's very, very inconvenient to use. You know, you spill these all over the place and it's, it's over. If I can... <laughs> get any of this off. I mean, it is very, very inconvenient and ridiculous, quite frankly. Like, who thought this was a good idea? I don't know, but it's just not easy to use. But the highlight itself is beautiful. You see that? Very soft, very, it's beautiful. Like, imagine that on your cheekbones. Honey, it's gorgeous. So even though it's not convenient to use, it's very beautiful. <laughs> it is though. So. And it's from Essence, so it's affordable. Now this is from Eben, Eben New York. It's a glowing bronzer for the face and body in Gold Kissed Pop. So this is another one that I have. Absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna put it right here. I don't have anything on my tattoo yet. It's beautiful, but uh, look at that. Very soft, gorgeous, you know, bronzing glow. Oh, that's pretty. I need to use that as well. But yeah, it's a uh, very affordable, very, very affordable brand. Next, I have here this Tower 28. You guys have seen me pull this a lot in my shop, my stash. It's the Bronzino in West Coast. Gorgeous. I love to use these beautiful cream type bronzers for a highlight um, because I like to just dip. I can either use my finger. I'm going to put it over my stars. I can either use my finger to apply this nice, smooth, creamy um, highlight or I can just dip my beauty sponge in there a couple of times and tap it on my cheeks. And it looks gorgeous. So yeah, that's what that looks like. I'll try and show it to you from a distance as well as up close. Very, very pretty. I love it. Especially during the summer. Gorgeous. Okay, I have this ABH Amreezy. Um, Yeah, you guys, if you are familiar with this, the OG Amreezy from back in the day. I don't know if they still sell it, but... I never really use it. You know, I know there's a lot of hype surrounding it, but for me, it's 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 a bit icy for me. It's the ice for me. <laughs> but it's still really pretty. It is. You know, if you like that, it's gorgeous. So I have this Dior Quad. This is Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. <sighs> um, And this is what it looks like. Really, really pretty, gorgeous shades in here. Let me see if I can get all four of these for you guys. Some of them seem, if not all, to be honest with you, of, oh my God, that's gorgeous, <laughs> to be a bit glittery. So let me see if I can, I'll just do it here. You know, kind of glittery, sheer and glittery, I'll say. But this is what those look like from this palette. Let's see if I can get close. So that's what that looks like. And then far, this is what those look like. Really pretty. Really, really gorgeous. Ooh. Yeah, really pretty. Okay, fresh meat, fresh meat. Y'all know when y'all do a swatch video like this, it's like glitter everywhere. Just like micro particles of glitter everywhere. You guys probably can't see it, but it's, child, it's a mess. Okay, this is one of my favorites. This is from Kiko. Is it Kiko Cosmetics? 
Yeah, I believe it's Kiko Cosmetics. This is the a Holiday Fable Divine Glow Highlighter in Enigmatic Bronze. <laughs> Say that fast 10 times. But yeah, I bought this during the holiday season. Was it last year or a year before? I don't know, child. I've had it for a minute and it's, oh, this just, it will never get old. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Oh, I love this highlighter. Oh, she looks, look at that. It's like sometimes even with the brighter highlighters, they just dance on the skin. And that's one that just dances on the skin. I don't even know if they still have this or if this was just a holiday release, but if you can find it, highly, highly recommend. So these are from Fenty Beauty. Okay. This one is rum and this one is cinnamon. Sound like two stripper names, huh? <laughs> and coming to the stage. <laughs> We bring you, we have rum and cinnamon coming to the stage. So that's uh, which is which. <laughs> this one is cinnamon and this one is rum. I love both of them. These I definitely need to use because I have them. Um, I'm just not prone to stick highlighters, but yeah, they're absolutely gorgeous. So... Let me go ahead and put my stripper highlighter somewhere where I can remember to use them, okay? Okay, so we did a little readjusting here. So next I have here this Beauty Bakery. This is Illuminator So Icy um, and Glazed, okay? So cute. Look at this packaging. It's so freaking cute. But yeah, I never use this. Why? Because... As beautiful as the loose highlighters are, they're just not the easiest to use, in my opinion. <laughs> it's just not. So let me put it over here next. Oh my gosh. Oh, Lord have mercy. Y'all just don't understand how smooth that was. This is like butter. Oh. I really need to use this, this loose highlighter. I do. It's, it's, I don't know if you can see that. Look, you see how gorgeous that is? Dang, that's pretty. <sighs> but they're just so messy. But I'm going to try and remember to use that. Next, I have a couple of liquid. And then I have this e.l.f. I think I showed this e.l.f. in my last shot my stash. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But this is one of the monochromatic multi-sticks. This one is Glowing Mango. And it's really pretty. I'm going to use this space right here, this empty space. It's really pretty, um, but it's just, it's not really convenient. You know, it's actually probably more so better for a glush, a glush a blush for someone a little more fair skin. So I don't know. I don't know how long I'm going to keep this. It might get decluttered just because it's not practical for me. But I have these two liquid highlighters, both of which I love. This is my Grand Glow plump, Plumping Liquid Highlighter. Why you need a plumping highlighter, I do not know. But I love this liquid highlighter it's just like yo the sheen is crazy i got highlighter everywhere you guys it's crazy look at this you see how beautiful that is during the summer oh it just looks wet it's just wet wet <laughs> so love that and then i also have this Hello Halo from Wet n Wild. This is one of their mega glows. Go with the glow. Okay, so where can I put this? Have I? No, I'll put it right, right here next to the... Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, Wet n Wild created a beautiful liquid glow. Look at that. It's beautiful. 
Okay, next I have here this Natasha Denona Glow Gold. Pretty sure I got this in a Boxy Charm or I bought it from Boxy. So this is a shimmer duo. And it's definitely gold, as you can see here. Definitely two beautiful gold shades. Apologize for the glare, you guys. But yeah, really pretty. I don't even think I swatched this because it feels very smooth, but it's really not picking up a whole lot on my fingers. I feel like it's going to be very, very sheer when swatched. You know, I could be wrong, but yeah, very, very light, very sheer. And I picked up a lot, you know, I, I swirled a lot in there, but it's pretty though. This one here, the darker one, very pretty, but it has a lot of glitter. <sighs> I'm talking too much. Okay. This is the Heroin Glow One by Juvia's. This is Baked Highlighter. Yeah, I guess that's it. It's just uh, Glow One. Very pretty packaging. Look at that. And then this is what the highlighter looks like inside. And I'll put that one right here. So very bright, very, very glowy, but it's definitely something I can work with, you know, Really, really pretty. Next, I have here, these are loose. This is loose. This is from ColourPop. This is um, Happy Thoughts from the Tinkerbell Collection. Super Shock Cheek. So this actually might be something that's supposed to be a blush, but for me, you know, it doesn't work for a, as a blush. I'm not sure. I don't remember if it's actually a highlighter or if it's a supposed to be a blush but so that's what that looks like definitely highlighter status and it has like a pinky tone to it I don't know if you guys can actually see that but it has like a pinky hue this one actually might be getting decluttered because I don't think I will ever reach for this so I have this Bella Terra Mineral Cosmetics. This is in Sensual. So this is a mineral bronzer, a loose, loose bronzer. Oh my goodness. Ah, so freaking messy. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Oh, it's beautiful. But, you know, like I said, with these loose ones, it's like they're absolutely gorgeous, but they're just so freaking messy. Like, you see how beautiful that is? And I'm really not even likely to pull that just because of how light it is. So I am think I'm finally going to declutter this because I had this for a long time. I have this Zodiac Cosmetics in Zeus. Now this color, oh my goodness. This one has a little netting, so it's a little less daunting and messy, but still. Let's see if I can get some of this. And it's a little bit of a thicker formula. And it's more my speed, so, oh, that's pretty. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to keep that. And then the last one in this bin is from is this abh yeah this is peach fizz a loose highlighter from abh <laughs> look at that packaging gorgeous so this is what that looks like has like a peachy color to it it looks like so yeah would i ever use this for a highlight i don't know let's see No. <laughs> oh, she's pretty. And it's funny how it looks like it has so much color in it. But you see that? It just looks like a regular highlight. You don't even see any of that color in there. It's gorgeous. I'm uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get rid of it yet. So I'm going to keep it in here just for now. You know, just because I think that might be the only ABH loose hider I have. And it is so gorgeous. 
I'm gonna keep it just for now. Okay, so let's move on to this tray and try and do it quickly. Okay, you guys, so I actually had to go in the bathroom and wash <laughs> with soap and water because the glitter was getting crazy. And I had to turn on my heater. So if you guys hear a little buzzing in the background, that is my floor heater. Because y'all, when I say it is nippy out here, it is nippy and the chill is in the air. So anyway, let's move on. Okay, so I have this little small one here. I'm pretty sure I got this in a subscription box. This is the Becca Champagne Pop. The OG Champagne Pop for those of you who are familiar with the classic uh becca highlights very very pretty it's more light and icy than i would ever wear but i'm going to keep it just because it is becca and i like having it in my collection this one here is from beauty bay this is trophy so i don't know if this is the answer to uh, a trophy wife but it's not quite as gold as the Fenty Trophy Wife, but it is very, very pretty. So let me go ahead and swatch her. Oh yeah, and it's, this is actually something that I would wear. So yeah, it's it's nothing like the Trophy Wife to me, because it's definitely wearable for me. Like that Trophy. Now this, one of my absolute favorites, if not my absolute favorite highlighter in the world. <laughs> from kiss um kiss new york this is a pro touch glow and bronze powder it's for face and body but this one is in the shade medium got it from my local beauty supplies you can see for 6.99 oh my goodness this mug this like what <laughs> what it is so sm it's like glass you see that it's so freaking smooth and just whenever I use it, I'm just, I just love it because it's so smooth. It's so subtle, yet when you put this on your cheekbones, it makes such a statement. You know, if you're darker, of course, woman of color, it's just absolutely beautiful. But yeah, you're looking for a beautiful, affordable highlighter check this one out from kiss new york you might even be able to find it online or something i don't know but yeah this is like one of my absolute favorites if not my favorite next i have here from sosu dripping gold endless summer this is an illuminating bronzing powder face and body so i'm pretty sure i got this off of beauty bay um, as you can see, it says dripping gold in there. This one is gorgeous as well. Um, very, very beautiful. It's not as silky smooth as the other one. And as you can see, see, it has a little bit more of a gold drip to it, more so than the bronziness of the kiss. Love both of these though. Love, love, love them. And of course, these with this size, this will last you a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> You're never going to run out of those. So this is from Catrice. It's called Sungasm Face and Body Highlighter. Now this, I will say, is lighter than I would like, you know, to, for a highlighter to be. Um, if you are looking for something, you know, you're more fair skin and you're looking for something you know, that's kind of icy that you can kind of brush on your cheekbones or all over your body. You see that is gorgeous. Like I could use it for sure, but it's just not as warm as I would like at all. So yeah, definitely a lighter, brighter type situation. Am I gonna keep that? I'll keep it for now. We'll see, we'll see. Charlotte Tilbury. This is a Hollywood Superstar Glow Highlighter. Huge packaging as well. This is what she looks like. And she's gorgeous as well, but she is also a little bit lighter than what I prefer, you know, in a highlighter for sure. But she definitely looks gorgeous on. For me, I just have to use, you know, a, a very light, slight hand just to give myself, you know, just a little bit of a glow on my cheeks. You know, as you can see here, really pretty. 
Next I have here the Uma Beauty. This is Barbados. This was part of their Black Magic Carnival collection. Very, very cute. Yeah, the shade Barbados. Gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, warm, bronzy tone. And you can use it, you know, all over or on the cheeks. But yeah, it is. <sighs> yeah, this one is gorgeous as well. As you can see, has a little more pop and shine than some of the others, but absolutely beautiful. Next, I have here the Marc Jacobs. This one is Jet Girl. Very big, beautiful packaging. And I love, love, love this one because it has like a peachy hue to it. Oh, it's so pretty. It just looks so unique to me. It's just, it's beautiful. That peachy tone. I love it. <laughs> love, love, love it. You know, so it looks like that. It's a lighter one as well. But yeah, it definitely has a pool of peachiness to it that I really like. But it is lighter. Next I have here from Milani. This is the Soleil Soleil 05. What is this? The Baked Bronzer. So another baked bronzer that I am using. That's a highlight, as you can see. Look how pretty. So let me just show you what this. Can I put one more on my arm? Yeah, I can fit one more down there. So I'm going to put this down here. Yeah, so definitely with it being a baked bronzer, it's not super duper shiny or anything. It just has that slight glow to it, which I do like on my cheekbones every now and then. Even if you're going for a matte, a matte look and you don't want anything shiny on your face, but you want something to give you a little bit of a glow, these are good for that. Definitely, you know, good for that as a woman of color. These work well for that. I have a couple of small ones here along with these Revolution Pro. Okay, so ColourPop. This looks like uh, something that's supposed to be a blush. Drop of a Hat, Super Shock Cheek. This is pearlized. Um, so yeah, it looks like it's supposed to be a blush, but I chose to put it in my highlighter drawer. So let me see if I need to move it back to the blush. Nope. That's more of like a highlighter for me. Very pretty. Has like a... Mm, like a peachy peachy feel to it golden peachy that's pretty oh that's pretty you guys should check it out it's really pretty then i have this laura geller new york i'm probably gonna declutter this i think i got this in a prescription box a <laughs> prescription <laughs> a subscription box oh my lord a prescription box uh-uh y'all i ain't I don't need that many pills, okay? A subscription box. It's called Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Ballerina. So, very pretty. But yeah, I know I didn't purchase this on my own. But she's gorgeous. Packaging is a mess. Sorry about that. But yeah, she's really pretty. So, let's swatch her up right here. Oh, that's pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Very, very icy. But it's pretty though. Ooh. Okay, Laura. I see why I kept you, honey. And she ain't going nowhere. Okay. So I have this Revolution Pro Supreme Highlighter. This is a trio in the shade Metal. And this is what this trio looks like. So let me just swatch this out right quick, y'all. I am just like running my mouth. Let's do this here. Okay, so there's that one, that one, and then this one. Okay, a little bit more of that. Okay, so those are the three right there from this trio. Of course, I'm gravitating to this last one, you know, every time I pull it. But they're really pretty. 
don't know. I mean, that's one. This is one that actually could probably be decluttered because I have so many other highlighters that I will pull before this. Um. So yeah, it, yeah, it might get decluttered. Okay, and then I have this pure bronze and brighten. <laughs> If you guys got this in a boxy charm box, yeah, put it in the comments. Let me know. Does anybody else have this fossil, this relic that we got years ago? I think I might have got this during my first year of getting boxy, and I got boxy for like five years. So this is a Dreamer Bronze and Brighten Cheek Palette <laughs> from Pure, and y'all, look at this. It's gorgeous. It really is. I'm not even going to lie. It's beautiful. Every time I open it, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. But I never wear this. I never wear it. I never pull it. It's like, it's just like grandfathered into my collection at this point. It's one of those things where it's like a part of historical... <laughs> <laughs> makeup in my collection so it's like I'm not allowed to declutter it because it's been around for so long that it, it's grandfathered in you know it's it has historical protection at this point but this is what it looks like it's really pretty it is but child I'm surprised this thing ain't growing mold on it is so old but of course i would use this as a highlighter and this is a really pretty blush too let me see if i can but i have put this thing in my declutter box so many times and have taken it out it's not even funny but yeah anyways this is like a part of kk makeup history so i have to keep it okay and so now when i flip this around all of these that were on the other side, you know, I just put all of this stuff back. All of these that were on the other side, except for my new uh, Michaela Pot 2. Michaela Pot 2 Glam Light Highlighter. Um, they're all loose highlighters, so I don't think I'm going to swatch all the loose ones because I don't really think you guys, you know, care about that. But... This is the Michaela Pot 2, and I will swatch this for you guys. Oh, oh my gosh, so pretty! So, oh my goodness! Oh. Now, would I ever wear any of, the, any of these except for this last one here? On my cheeks, probably not. Oh man, but that's gorgeous. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty. Listen, let me move this out of my way. Cause child, look at this. Now on the eyes, absolutely. This last one I'll wear on my cheeks, but the other two, absolutely on my eyes. A oh, whole ho. Okay, so this is DJ's uh boutique heat wave loose highlighter. Now, this highlighter is a trip. I think I will swatch this because it looks super light. It looks like white. <clears throat> but when you put it on, baby. Baby. And this is my girl, DJ. She has a boutique called DJ's Unique Boutique. And she has some really gorgeous makeup and boutique items for you to grab. But you see that? Beautiful. It looks white. But uh-uh, look at that. It's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. He's so pretty. Look how pretty that is. Okay, so the rest of these I'm not gonna swatch. This is from ColourPop Loose Highlighter. And this one is in the shade Dewdrop. I know you guys probably can't see it so bright. But yeah, ColourPop Dewdrop. This is actually um, from Meech and Mia. It's called M&M Shadows and Beige. This is actually an eyeshadow, but I put it in here because it looks more like a highlighter on me. And I've had this forever from a beauty subscription box. And I'm probably going to declutter that. <laughs> I'm never going to use it. It's super tiny. So this is from the Shayla and ColourPop collection. Really cute packaging here. This one is called Pose. 
and this is what it looks like just absolutely beautiful this one here another shayla and color pop um collection called booming you can see that that's what that looks like it's called booming very pretty this one is from artist couture and this one is diamond glow powder and conceited now these are absolutely gorgeous okay really really pretty but yeah i would swatch them but when i tell you i would be making a mess i would be making a mess oh shoot can you see that oh that's so pretty anyways that's conceited and i'm not getting rid of any of these even though i don't like loose highlighters they're too pretty this one is diamond glow powder in la peach this was part of the jackie Ina and artist couture collection she collabed with them and this one is gorgeous as well yeah the peach this is jackie Ina as well it's called la bronze <laughs> la bronze this one Ooh. and then lastly i have here from sydney grace making jam highlighter called making jam i didn't even remember i had that oh it's not even open look how gorgeous that is oh i can only imagine i need to play with that so you guys remind me during my shop my stashes be like kk grab some of your loose highlighters you need to play with the loose highlighters okay so let me put all this away and i have one more drawer you guys i know this is ridiculous but i have to just show you my palettes i won't swatch i'll just show them to you Okay, you guys, so I'm going to run through these last few palettes and quads and whatnot just to, and I have a couple of larger compact, compacts from ColourPop, but just so that you guys can see what I have in my collection, but I'm not going to swatch. I promise I'm not. <laughs> so this first one here is from Charlotte Tilbury. I just got this. This was um, one of their holiday releases. Oh, this is so beautiful. This is the Pillow Talk Beautifying Face Palette. So this has highlight and blush in here. Um, but I just, you know, instead of me picking one drawer to put it in over the other, I just put it in my highlighters for now. I might move it to my blush later, but <sighs> yeah. She's absolutely gorgeous. I did swatch her, I think, in my last shot, my stash, if you do want to see it swatched. So this is the Glodiant Makeup Palette, and this is from, who did this? Touch and Soul. Yeah, this is their pretty little face palette, and it's like, you know, a gradient of highlighters in here. Sorry about the glare, you guys. Uh, maybe that's better. But yeah, it's like a gradient of highlighters in here. Oh, it's so pretty. Of course, I stay down here. But yeah, I love this. It's not going anywhere. This from Lime Crime Highlight Blossoms. I've had this for years. It has like three kind of like iridescent highlighter shades in here that are not really typical for everyday use, I don't think. So I never gravitate to it, but I don't want to get rid of it because it's so pretty. And it's the only um, like highlighter type palette that I have from them. So I do keep that. These are just really large ones <laughs> from ColourPop. Body or Soul Body. This one is pretty peachy. It's a shimmering, what is it? Shimmering body powder. Oh my goodness. Do you see that? She's so pretty. What? I want to swatch it so bad. I'm not going to swatch it though. <laughs> I want to swatch it so bad, but no. Pretty. Okay. Soul Body. This is golden. Shoot. This one is gorgeous too. When I got it, it came, you know, completely smashed. So it doesn't have the pretty design in there. But you want to talk about an absolutely gorgeous highlighter? This is gorgeous, okay, beautiful. This is another one. This was Wild Orchid Shimmering Body Powder. This was part of that, you know, that purple collection. I did a whole video on that. The Orchid You Not or Orchid Me Not, whatever it is. Ah, 
beautiful, beautiful collection. And this is gorgeous. It's so pretty. It's a little intimidating, but when you put it on, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, this is from Revolution. Little highlighter quad, beautiful shades in here. Cheek kit called Don't Hold Back. So this is what that looks like. And yes, they're beautiful, beautiful shades of highlighter. This is Bold and Brilliant by Gourmand Girls. They sent me this like last year, was it? But it's just, you know, your typical highlighter quad with your different shades in there. Really, really pretty. Next I have here from Makeup by Yolando. Born to Shine Diamond Highlighter Palette. One of these, I think it might be this one. Oh, it, oh, look at that. It, it just looks stunning. It looks stunning. It's so beautiful, but it is pretty glittery. If, if I'm not mistaken, I gotta swatch this, you guys, because I'm trying to remember. One of these is just absolutely stunning, but it's a little bit too glittery. When I put it on my face, yeah, I think it's this one. I mean, it it looks amazing. <laughs> she could say, I know I don't, I'm not, I know I'm not supposed to be swatching, but I just wanted to see. But yeah, it looks absolutely gorgeous. But it is a little glittery. Okay, it's a little glittery. So just keep that in mind if you buy it. This is the ABH Glow Kit in Sun Dipped. I've had this for quite a while. Um, and I never reach for it. Never reach for it. Look at the shades. It's beautiful. This is like another OG, um, you know, palette for highlight and whatnot, but I never reach for it. I need to remember to reach for that. This is from Tatiana Anissa Cosmetics, another beautiful YouTuber here. And, um, check out her channel if you have not. Uh, is her channel name Tatiana Anissa? I believe it is, yeah. If you haven't checked her out, check her out. But this is her Get Lit Highlighter Palette. Yo, look at this. Oh, so pretty. I love these two right here. Use those quite a bit. Doesn't look like it, but I do. Those are gorgeous. So yeah, she has her own beauty line. So check her out. And then I have my Beauty Bakery Milk and Honey. This is a highlighter palette. Is that the name? Yeah, Milk and Honey. Another quad, as you can see. Usually the quads have these basic, you know, four shades for the most part. And so this one is pretty too. Very, very gorgeous. Uh, let's see here. These e.l.f. I don't know. It's like I always have to keep stuff from e.l.f. just for... Not only comparison reasons, but it's very few, um, what do you call it, drugstore brands that I have in my collection. So the few that I have, if I do like it, I try to hold on to it. This is the e.l.f. Glow Gleam Beam. <laughs> Haven't used this in a long time. Um, so yeah, it has like little information on the back there, but look how pretty. Super duper pretty pretty oh i want to swatch so bad i want to swatch this one right here i know i know listen we've been here this long just just stay for a few more seconds so i can see what's happening Ooh, okay that's pretty so yeah nice affordable highlighter palette and then i have here the elf modern metals this one is highlighter and blush so you know, nice, soft, lighter shades of blush. Nice, different, a few shades of highlighter to go with. But yeah, really pretty affordable palette. Okay, I have here from Revolution. This is the Soph X Highlighter Palette, a collab with Revolution. This is what it looks like. Several different shades and textures of highlighting here for you to play with. Really, really pretty. And this from Revolution, I always laugh when I look at this. This is the Vintage Lace Intense Metallic Cream Powder Highlighter because the overspray on here was just ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous. You can look and see 
the overspray, how as I've used this palette, it's just slowly disappeared, you know? It's crazy. I think after the first time I used it, it was pretty much gone, you know, for most of them. But yeah, the reason why I bought it was because of the beautiful, you can see how this one, it had the gold, but it's still pretty, even though, you know, the overlay is gone. The highlighters themselves are still really pretty. So yeah, it's all good. Let me just do one more. I know. But I just want you guys to get like an idea. See how icy that is? Very pretty. But if you buy it because of the sparkly overlay, you're going to be disappointed because it's going to disappear after the first use. If they even make that anymore. <laughs> okay. Essence Pure Nude Sunlighter Palette. Um, this one is pretty good from what I recall. It, it's pretty good for Essence, for drugstore. It's decent. It's not amazing or anything, but it's definitely decent. Um, Beige Cosmetics Illuminating in Ireland. This is a six color highlighter palette. Beautiful. Beautiful. I have here Living My Best Light. This is from Beauty Bay. Let me check this one out because I don't even remember what this looks like. Okay. So yeah, I haven't even swatched this one yet. Really pretty. Ooh, I'm curious. I'm so curious. Just one. I'm just curious. Oh, okay. So it's nice and smooth, easy application, beautiful, nice, soft, silky. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay. Put this somewhere where I'm going to pull it. This is a Belgian waffle from BH Cosmetics, baked bronzer and highlighter palette. Maybe it's this one. Is it this one? I'm sorry. I lied. Okay. I'm swatching. I'm sorry. I lied. Father, forgive me. Oh, this is pretty. Okay, so... Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. Okay, BH. I have this BH Cosmetics Desert Oasis. This has been in my Declare box at least five times, and I take it out every single time. Um, it's just, I don't know. I just can't. I can't bring myself to uh, declutter it. And I I don't know why. I just can't. It's gorgeous. There's some beautiful, beautiful highlighters in here. Beautiful eyeshadows. I just, I don't want to declutter. So I'm not going to. <laughs> so I just keep it with my highlighters. It's not a big deal. It's not hurting anybody, okay? It's just taking up a very minimal amount of space. This is my Mystic Glow Highlight Palette. Yeah, I got this from, who is this? Rose Glam Boutique. I don't even know if they're in business anymore, but I kept it because it does have, you know, some of those pretty iridescent type highlighters. You know, this, this is the one I would definitely grab. Oh, Lord have mercy. This is the one I would definitely gravitate towards right here. Oh, oh, she pretty. It's a shame to keep a palette just for one highlighter, but I do like to have some of those other shades as well. You know, like this is pretty. This is like a rose gold. Yeah, see, that's really pretty. That's like a rose gold highlighter. That's pretty. Okay. So yeah, keeping that. This is from Violet Voss. It's the Pro Highlighter in Rose Gold. I'll be trying to show it so you guys can see some of the shine and glisten that I'm seeing. It's not really showing it too much, but beautiful. Okay. I have this Ofra on the Glow palette. <clears throat> no matter how many times I get rid of my Ofra stuff, Boxy sent me another one. <laughs> so now that I don't have Boxy anymore, I ain't got to worry about that. But I do have this in my collection just as, you know, having them from this brand, having something from this brand in my collection. I have decluttered them a few times 
because I really don't gravitate towards them. I have this and this is probably going to be the only one that I ever have in my collection. So keeping that and this I actually purchased years ago um, to decorate my beauty space because I had a little pink theme going on or whatever and I bought this as well as the eyeshadow palette because it had this pretty glittery cover to it. Look at that. I know it's going to blind you, but gorgeous. But this is an actual highlighter palette. Reverie? Yeah, Reverie. And this is what it looks like. So it's got some uh, it's pretty decent size too, as you can see. But it's got six different ones. As you see, I never swatched it, never used it. I had bought it solely for decoration, but um, yeah, I'm, pr I'm probably never going to use it. I might end up putting it back on my shelf if I do go with the pink theme again. So that is that. Okay, you guys, I went ahead and pulled some of these back out of the drawer so that I can organize them back how they're supposed to be and stack them properly. But I just wanted to go ahead and thank you so much. If you're still here at the end of this video, you are a real OG, okay? And I thank you and appreciate you and love you so much. Hopefully you found some highlighters that maybe you forgot were in your collection and you need to dig them out and use them. Or maybe you saw something that you really like and you wanna purchase it for yourself. Either way, Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you on the next one. Toodles.